Hello YouTube, Bronis with an trail. In this show, I want to show you guys how I did the color grading for this very image. And I want to show you guys how I moved this image from looking like uh, this to looking like this. You can see that uh, the before was lacking that really nice vibrance added to it. And in the after, we have that nice and a beautiful image that is really popping. So that is what I'm going to show you guys in this very tutorial. So... First things first, let's just come and reset uh, this to the default. And you know, usually when I'm doing my skin retouching and maybe my color grading, I shoot in RAW because that is the very first consideration because if you shoot in JPEG, you're not going to be able to get back most of the information every time you're trying to maybe recover, maybe highlights for this instance and maybe uh, trying to get out the shadows from your images so always make sure that you take into consideration you shoot in raw and this is a raw file from my canon 60 camera and those people that usually ask for settings it was shot at ISO 160 using my 85 millimeter lens 1.8 and it was shot at f4 at one out of 800th of a second and it was taken at around 5 pm and for my lighting setup I use the Godox AD600 BM in a 120cm octa box. So basically it is it was a one light setup. So what I did for this very image to color grade it, I simply knocked down the highlights because I wanted to regain back the information right above here and I don't want that white sky in most of my images. That's why I would recommend most of you guys to shoot in RAW. Then what I did next was pulling down my whites even more, just like that. And you can see that this gets uh, the information back in the sky area. But in the bit of getting the information in the sky area, it makes the image look really dull and doesn't look really nice to look at. So in order to get back that information, I simply come to the exposure panel and simply knock it up just like that so you can see that when i pull this up the image uh, gets back to life and now the image is now looking nice and it is back to life but this is not all for the color grading that i usually do i simply come to the shadows and i knock them down just like that and you can see that this not only adds some blacks to uh, the image it as well adds that nice and rich contrast to the photo then i come to the contrast option and i knock up the contrast just like that so you can see where we started and where we are right now but usually because i shoot with canon usually canon has that kind of magenta automatically embedded into the images so in order to get rid of that magenta you simply have to come and reduce on the amount of magenta in the image by moving the tint slider from the magenta side to the green side because the opposite of magenta is green. So you have to move this towards the opposite of magenta just like that to get rid of the magentas, especially in the skin tone area of the model. So when I'm done doing those basic adjustments, I just want the image to pop a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the vibrance option and simply add some slight vibrance to the image around 5. And let's see where we are right now. So this is the before and after, before, after. So the next thing I want to do is now going into the actual color grading process for this very image. And in order to do that color grading, you're simply going to come all the way down to the HSL panel. So basically HSL is basically hue, saturation and luminance. So let's start with the hue option and we see what I did when I was going to color grade this very image. So the very first color I wanted to handle in this image is uh, the greens because I wanted the greens to slightly blend into this image so color grading is basically a personal preference but if at all you want to do it the way i did for 
this kind of series of these images. What I did, I had to hew the greens down towards, yeah, I hewed them towards the yellow side just like that. And you can see that this adds some kind of whole different vibe to the image. Then what I also did, I came to the oranges and I hewed them down towards the, rather I hewed down the yellows towards the orange side, just like that, towards negative 100. And you can see that this made the image to pop even a little bit more. Then what I did too, because I wanted to add that kind of teal to the sky right here, what I did for the sky, I simply came to the blues, since we have blues in the blue area of the sky, I simply came and I knocked down the blues for this image. I'm sorry if I told you can hear some noise in the background. And this adds a kind of whole different pop to the image. So let's see the before and after and where we are right now. Then the next thing I did was come into the saturation because when I was playing around with these colors, it kind of intensified some of the colors in the image. So I came to the saturation panel and the colors that are looked really over vibrant in this image uh, we have at uh, the greens. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slightly reduce on the amount of greens to around negative 22. I think that looks fine. Then what I also did, I came to the blues in the image. I'm going to slightly reduce on the amount of blues in this image to around, let's go to around a negative 14. So we still have the blues in this image, but we are just slightly trying to mute or reduce on the amount of the blues. Then next we are going to reduce on the amount of yellows, just like that, around a negative 6. I think that looks fine. So let's see the progress so far, before and after. You always have to check on the progress because you don't want to overdo or work on the image because you may end up not having the nice information or the nice and beautiful colors at the end of your color grading process. Then now lastly what I did, I came to the luminance. Remember luminance is more of uh, the lightness or darkness of a particular color and saturation is more of the intensity of a given color. So under the luminance what I basically did for this image, I simply came to the greens and I just wanted to mute them down. So. I muted them to around negative 33 because I wanted the model to stand out even more. Then since I wanted the, this detail in the sky and we have that kind of blues, I simply came and uh, knocked down uh, the blues. So I basically darkened the blues in this image. Then I came to the aquas and simply did the same to get back the information in this area. So. Let's see the before and after before. After you can see that the image is now really popping and it really stands out. So this is what I did when I was color grading this very image. So as usual, I did the eye whitening. I simply zoomed into the eyes and came and get my I got rather my adjustment brush tool because when you whiten the eyes, you give the image a whole different kind of feel or vibe added to it. So what I do, I come to the temperature and simply I drop it down. Remember the opposite of yellow is blue. So move this towards the blue side around negative 20 and since we have some greens in the white area, I move the tint towards the opposite of green which is magenta to around, negative, uh, to around 65 rather and I pull the whites up to around 5 and do the same for the whites and I think that looks fine. Then what I do, since we have some other random colors in the white area of the eye, I simply desaturate or remove those colors from the image around uh, negative 65 and I start painting. So I left click and paint over the white area of the eye. Remember we are only painting over what we feel should be white in this image and we don't want paint over the skin. Remember, when you paint over the skin, it is going to be are uh, desaturating or removing color from that area you have painted because the saturation of the brush is all the way down. So make sure to leave the, uh, the skin 
untampered with. So when you do that, come and paint over each and every area in the white area of the eye. So we are basically targeting only and only the white area of the eye. And we don't want to mess up other areas in the white area of the eye or maybe the skin of the model. And when you're done doing all that, simply come and hit open to open the image into Photoshop for the final color grading process. So it's going to take a few seconds to load and it's going to open into Photoshop to do the very last step for the color grading process. So here we are and what I did in Photoshop, I simply came and cropped the image in a ratio of 45. So I simply hit enter because I didn't want to have the softbox in uh, the view. Then I came to the selective color option and I simply added some blacks to the image to around a one or two can do. Then what I did next, I uh, added some kind of yellows to the blacks to around negative one. So basically, this is all I did for the color grading for this very image. And if at all you have loved this story, don't forget to like this like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel don't forget to keep color grading keep creating and keep impressing